Hi. The student have contacted me. He's solving a higher order non-homogeneous differential equation. And uh, he wants to know uh, what should he assume as a particular solution for the non-homogeneous portion of uh, the equation he's solving. And, and this is the non-homogeneous portion. This is uh, the right side of his equation. Uh, and uh, assuming that he does not have a repeated solution in homogeneous portion, what he have to choose for um, a particular solution for this non-homogeneous portion should be, let's start with this portion, we got x cubed e to the power 4x. So if, if x cubed e to the power 4x is a solution, then definitely x squared e to the power 4x and x e to the power 4x and also e to the power 4x, they all must be also a solution, you know, for that uh, non-homogeneous differential equation. So, uh, so he should, for this portion, the particular solution that he have to assume for this portion must be in the form of, must be in the form of a x cubed e to power 4x plus b x square e to power 4x plus c x e to power 4x plus d e to power 4x. So this is what he have to assume for this portion. And for the second portion, he got sine of x. We know that if we differentiate sine of x, the formula, the derivative of sine of x is equal to cosine of x. And if we take a derivative again from cosine, the derivative of cosine of x will be equal to minus sine of x. So, any time we take a derivative, we are going to have sine of x and cosine of x. So, uh, what we have to assume here for that portion will be uh, e sine of x plus f cosine of x. So this is the particular solution that he had to assume in order to solve that non-homogeneous differential equation that he's working with. And this is going to be a very uh, long problem. But uh, this is again another good example, uh, you know, how to uh, assume what to assume as a particular solution for a, a non-homogeneous higher order differential equation. So that's what we need to assume.